I still can't believe what happened. I worked at the arcade. It was only briefly, because the arcade closed down after about eight months. The arcade was in this small building that used to be the local Goodwill store until it moved to a bigger building. After that, the building was just for rent, and then came in the arcade. The arcade had some of the newest games, which made its closing surprising to me. I have to face the fact that arcades don't stay in business much these days, because people can play games on their own homes. But still, you can't get experiences like Dark Escape 4D at home, or anything motion simulators for that matter. The arcade was dedicated to the one section of the building, classic arcade games. They had Pac-Man, Donkey Kong Jr., Road Blasters, a Black Knight pinball machine, Tron, and a bunch of those space shooters, among other titles. Right in the corner of the classic video games was an old Rally X. When gamers actually did come to play games, Rally X wasn't exactly their first choice. It was usually a bit dusty, and it was pretty old looking, not in very good condition. I remember trying to scrub off some of the upscurious sentences someone wrote on the machine in permanent marker. Ugh, I hate it when people make my job harder. One day after work, I noticed that Rally X machine was actually on a level. I guess someone had abandoned their game and I felt sorry for it. So I played it. Yeah, I'm strange, I know. Shut up. Anyhow, I went over and grabbed my joystick and began moving the car around, but I couldn't find any flags and there was nothing on the radar. There were no rocks, no enemies, no flags, nothing. But the little blue car. I was about to unplug the game and plug it back in when a loud crash came from the game, scaring the crap out of me. I looked up to see what happens. Don't do that on the screen. What the crap? When the game over screen came up, it went back to normal. I looked in the quarter box and discovered there was no quarter in the box at all. No one had been playing. The next day, I put a quarter in during my break and played the game, but nothing happened. So I stayed after work that night. Sure enough, the game started without any quarters being inserted, and there was nothing about the car. I decided to try something. I looked around to make sure no one was watching, knowing full well as crazy as it was when I started talking to the game. Hi. The machine buzzed for a moment, then the word hello appeared on screen. I was a bit startled, since I wasn't sure what was going to work. I shuddered for a bit, trying to think of what to say next. I started off by the basic and asked, what's your name? In response, the title screen came up, but instead of Rally X, it just said Rally. What's your, that's your name? I asked, to which the game replied with these, the theme. I assume I was talking to the racer shown on the side of the game, so I talked to Rally for a while. I came back every day after work, noticed that the other games talked, just Rally. I asked Rally why this was, and much to replied, he was better than the other games, which surprised me since he never seemed full of himself before. One day he asked if he could tell me something, and I said sure. Then all of a sudden, the text he had used to talk back to me, it said, I came into this world through high expectations. I had good graphics, unique gameplay, and the agreements of a successful game. In 1980, the AO... The MOA trade show. I was told that it was best about the best, but I didn't even come in for a place. I still didn't don't understand it. I did monetarily well, but I can't get over the fact that I didn't live up the expectations placed on me. What made Pac-Man better than me? We both are maze games, but for some reason, people like this maze game better than mine. He got his own cartoon for Pete's sake. And what did I get? One sequel and dozens of cheap ripoffs. After reading this, I felt slightly disturbed that Rally know much about the outside world, but I also felt sorry for him. Then, he started ranting about how the graphics were better than Pac-Man's and Defender's and how he should be famous. He wasn't really sad, like intentionally I thought. He was jealous and bitter. Eventually, when the game went back to the start screen and I tried talking to the game, I realized that the janitor was right behind me, asking me what the heck I was doing and why I was talking to a video game. It was closing time and I had to go home. I didn't get much sleep that night. 
What Rowley said bugged me. At work, a kid came up with a problem. Pac-Man wasn't working right. I looked at the screen and saw the game was on the kill screen that usually popped up when the player reached level 256, but the kid had just started the game. I gave the kid his quarterback and put the out of order sign on the machine. When I saw the car from Rally X drove across the screen, no one else seemed to notice. I didn't want to stay after work, but I was worried that Rally might do something worse if I hadn't. I put my phone on the charger before going to talk to Rally. When I went to talk to him, he was bragging about what he had done. It kind of sickened me on how sadistic he was being, taking the joy that the game was out of order and might be taken out of the arcade. He started to go into detail, saying he could imagine rotating scrapyard. I don't think he really understands broken games. Don't go to scrapyards like broken cars do. He implied that he was going to take out some other games next. I got really mad and he was talk taken out on the other games and players into his. I started yelling at him, telling him how sick and crazy it was, not caring the janitor or anyone else heard thought I was crazy. When I was done for what seemed like hours, probably a few minutes, the room was silent. Then the screen game started flickering. The screen showed Rally furious at me. He started that he could do whatever he wanted and I couldn't do anything about it. I told him that I could go and went to go pull the plug in to pull and prove my point. But when I touched it, it burned my hand. The game was making loud, high-pitched sounds. My hand was throbbing in pain, and I started crying. I was so scared when the screen then stopped flickering. The game sound stopped, and it was all quiet except for my crying. I got up and looked at the screen. I'm sorry, it said. I was confused. Then the game broke down. The whole cabinet was hot, and Rally had overheated himself in rage. Some repairman tried to see what happened, but they couldn't explain how a game could suddenly overheat it. My employer concluded that the game was old and malfunctioned, but I knew better. One thing I knew is that Rally isn't dead. You see, my phone, which was charging, suddenly had a Rally X background. All the ringtones were replaced with Rally X sound effects and music, and now I have a Rally rumble on my phone. I guess Rally figured out to make sure he would always be able to get someone's attention. I once got an angry phone call from someone who had received a prank phone call. I still think of Rally as a friend, and sometimes I still talk to him. Whenever I asked about his last incident, he changes the subject. It appears to make him uncomfortable. Rally knew what was going on outside of the game. I don't know whatever all games are capable of this, like I said earlier. None of the other games in the arcade talked to me, but it was just my choice, or because they were incapable. I tried asking Rally, but he still says that he's better, so I guess I'll never really know for sure.